Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you my Sunday night routine. Since it's winter time, it's always really nice to light up all the candles and fairy lights in the night because they just give this nice warm wintry feeling. So yeah, that's how we begin our Sunday evenings usually. And then I come back to my bedroom and then I spend some time on the laptop. Both me and my husband, we chat for a little while, we watch our favorite TV shows. Uh, So this Sunday we were watching Queens of Comedy which is a new show on TLC. It's basically a stand-up comedy show which is which features only women. So it's kind of interesting. It's it's a new concept in India and we've been watching it for a while now. And then usually when we're done watching our TV shows, my husband takes the laptop for a little while and he starts doing some of his work. Uh, usually it's office work or some personal projects that he's working on. And then I spend this time mainly to, you know, do the meal planning routine uh, because Sunday is usually the only time I get to do the meal planning. So I start off by doing that. And uh, this is the meal planning system that I follow. I have already done like a complete video on how I do this. If you guys haven't watched it, you should probably go and check that video out. I will link it in the description box and also somewhere on the screen. You can check it on the top here. So I find this meal planning system very very productive and very very simple to follow because you know I spent some time in the beginning to just make this entire system. It took me like an hour to set this whole thing up but then ever since that uh, this whole process has been really really simple for me. So um, what I have in my notebook is basically a list of everything that I that we usually eat and uh, then uh, it's really easy for me to just pick things up you know like from an entire menu of things I can just uh, pick out things that we want to have for all of our meals so I have breakfast, lunch, uh, dinner and then evening snacks so I put all of those down to, and uh, this way I, I, it's always very interesting because our men, food uh, doesn't get very repetitive so when the menu gets ready uh, what I do is basically I come out and I stick the menu on the refrigerator because it's easier that way it's always in front of our eyes and both of us know what's coming up for which meal and it's always easier to have you know like an idea of what's coming up uh, for every meal keeps us excited so once all of these things are done then uh, i start working for the dinner for sunday and sunday dinner is something that both of us cook together it's like a routine for us sunday dinner has to be like a couple cooking session kind of a thing so we always do that together and uh, every uh, few Sundays like once in a while we do like a date night kind of thing where we make something special and we you know lay out the table out in the balcony and we eat uh, by the candlelight so that's what we were doing this Sunday as well. So this isn't something that we do every Sunday but it's nice to you know kind of do that uh, every once in a while so probably we do it like two Sundays in a month or one Sunday in a month depending on how much time we have. So since we were doing like a special uh, uh, meal for uh, tonight, I was going. To, I am making a really nice uh, tomato soup that both of us really like, and I'm making a really, really, really healthy uh, alternative of a pizza. So it, it is a pizza, but it's as healthy as, as it can possibly get. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you the recipes for whatever I'm making. So for the soup, I'm just gonna take a little bit of oil in the pan, and then to that, I'm adding some green chilies. Next I'm adding some cumin seeds and once they start to kind of crackle up I'm going to add a very little bit of uh, garlic paste so this is fresh garlic paste that I made uh, right at the moment so I'm just going to add a little bit of that and once everything kind of cooks up really well I am going to add uh, some sliced tomatoes so the tomatoes I actually haven't put in a lot of effort into you know uh, slicing them or dicing them really finely because eventually I'm going to make a paste out of it 
so the, this is just like a very rough chop of tomatoes and I'm just going to add that to uh, this saute here and uh, when the tomatoes kind of get a little little mushy I will add some uh, pudina leaves or mint leaves whatever you call it uh, this is just to add some really nice flavor to the uh, soup as well adding some seasoning salt uh, black pepper and all of that and then I'll just let it simmer for some time till uh, the whole thing gets really nice and mushy So uh, at this point I'm also adding a little bit of uh, uh, lemon juice just to add some extra kick of flavor to the whole thing and then I'm just going to turn on turn off the gas and put it on the side and I will let it cool down because uh, I, I ideally would want it to you know kind of cool down before I put it in the grinder. Uh, so now I'm starting to work on the uh, pizza. So I'm making a mushroom and a spinach pizza. So for that I am starting to slice the mushrooms here. I'm using portobello mushrooms but you can use regular butter mushrooms or whatever mushroom you find uh, around your place. So yeah and for that I'm also uh, slicing some onions. Not very finely but just uh, giving it like a rough chop. So for about uh, 200 grams of mushroom I'm using about 2 to 3 onions. So now I uh, will start cooking this. So I've taken a uh, stainless steel pot and to that I'm adding a little bit of uh, olive oil. And next I'm adding the uh, sliced onions and I will let this uh, cook for about 2-3 to three minutes till the onions become really translucent. I don't want, want them to get like really golden or get like a color of their own but just translucent is fine. Uh, after which I'm going to add all of my mushroom slices so uh, mushroom when you add it it will look like there's like a lot of it but eventually it kind of reduces down and becomes a uh, really really like perfect quantity for two people just going to give it a good stir and uh, after that I will add my uh, spinach leaves to this uh, spinach and mushroom is like a classic combination and it goes so well on pizza it's so delicious sometimes I just make this saute and I use it for sandwiches as well so uh, yeah this is like a very very uh, delicious saute and you can use it as a side uh, dish for your rotis as well or anything so but I love it on a pizza or on a sandwich so just adding some uh, uh, seasoning to this I'm adding salt and some black pepper And once the whole thing kind of cooks really well, I will just give it a good saute and then I will cover it with a lid and I think yeah it's done. So once the topping for the pizza is ready, I am now going to start uh, prepping up the base of the pizza. So this is where the healthy catch is. The base that I'm using is a multigrain pizza base and it has zero maida. I get it from my local bakery here and it's amazing. And for the cheese, I am using, instead of using the regular, you know, mozzarella cheese, I'm using uh, cottage cheese here, which is paneer. So I'm using paneer as a base and trust me guys, as weird as it, sound, it sounds, it's amazing. You should definitely give this a try. So I'm just grating it in a bowl and uh, and yeah that's what I'm going to use and uh, it's so basically the toppings are all vegetables the base is multi-grain uh, and instead of cheese I'm adding paneer so it's as healthy as it can possibly get okay so uh, to pre prep for the uh, base here uh, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, tomato ketchup to uh, Greek yogurt and I'm just going to make like a fine paste out of it. And this is what I'm going to use as the as the dressing for the base of the pizza. So I am now going to spread this whole thing evenly on uh, both of these uh, pizza breads. 
if you don't find greek yogurt you can always use uh, mayonnaise for this as well so that uh, again goes really well or you can use uh, cream or just like the malai that's formed on the top of your milk even that goes really well as a substitute for greek yogurt here and then once this is done now i'm just going to sprinkle uh, the cottage cheese on top of both of these slices and now i'm adding the toppings uh, so the topping uh, that i had just made with mushrooms and spinach that's what i'm adding on top of this so pizza prep is all ready now it's ready to go into the oven so we're just going to pop it in the oven and we're going to leave it there for about uh 15 minutes that's how much how long it'll take to kind of cook up properly and then my husband meanwhile is setting up the table for us so that uh, uh we can have like a nice dinner in the balcony and i am starting to work on the soup now uh so the tomato uh, uh saute that we had created has kind of cooled down so i'm just going to transfer it uh to the uh, mixer grinder and i'm just going to give it a good grind here Uh, be sure to uh, make like a really fine paste out of this because uh, ideally people don't like their soups to be really chunky. I don't like it, so I always make like a really fine paste here. And uh, I think one of our pizzas is ready, so my husband's just taking that out. And uh, this is how the pizza looks. Uh, I think it looks really nice, really yummy. Uh, and then we're putting in the uh, next pizza. So now I'm just going to transfer the tomato puree that I just made onto a pan on the same frying pan where I made the tomato saute and then I'm just going to uh, add some extra water into the same uh, grinding bowl and I'm going to add the water uh, to this as well. So that way this the whole uh, you know the paste will come to like a soupy consistency and that's what we're looking to kind of achieve here. Just going to give it a good stir ensuring that the paste kind of gets really uh, mixed up with the water and becomes like comes together as like this really nice soup so i'm adding some some extra black pepper here because i felt like it was kind of lacking that extra seasoning and we like we indians really like our food to be spicy so uh, there's no harm in adding any extra spices to this at any point so as an interesting thing i just uh, stumbled upon this unsalted white butter which i found in my local grocery store and i thought it was like a really nice substitute to the regular amul butter that we get and that's what i'm going to add to the soup here so i'm just going to add about uh, uh, just a little bit of that uh, to the soup to give the soup really nice you know like creamy kind of a texture and tomato soup it's always like really nice to have some butter along with it uh, so yeah i'm just going to mix it with the soup and i will wait for the soup to come to a good boil here and i absolutely love the color guys it's so beautiful this tomato soup is our absolute favorite and it's all done now so i'm just going to transfer it to two bowls And since it's a Sunday night dinner, it's a special dinner and we're doing this whole date night thing. So I thought I would kind of, you know, uh, also do like a little bit of garnishing to the world. So I'm adding uh, one, uh, like a single uh, mint leaf to each of these bowls. And to that, I am adding uh, just a little bit of the white butter that we got. Uh, so uh, just to add like a little bit of, you know, like beauty to the whole thing because it looks really nice like this and it'll give that whole you know restaurant feel to the whole uh, food so yeah the, the soup's now ready and uh, now i'm just stepping out and my husband's already set up the table so i'm just gonna uh, keep all the food on on it and 
and then we we'll light a candle just to make the whole mood even more you know like wintry and warm and calm and peaceful because you know like as soon as sunday ends and the week starts there's just so much that comes with it and it's really nice to relax on a sunday night have a nice nice long dinner chat and all of that so yeah that's how we usually spend our sunday nights and it's it's like a really nice routine that we've made for ourselves and with that this video comes to an end that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed watching this i hope you found the recipes useful please do let me know how you liked it in the comment section and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you really really liked it i make such videos very often so if you're new here hi i'm saloni please don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will see you next time bye bye